क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव A positive integer k is randomly selected. So we have to think about the positive integer k. As the first expression is divisible by second one, it means both the roots of the equation should be common. Both the roots of x square minus x plus one equals to zero r minus omega n minus omega square. We know this fact. So if the second is dividing the first expression, it means minus omega must satisfy the first expression. Minus omega power k plus one minus minus omega power k plus one should be zero. We take minus omega power k as common factor, or or we can take omega power minus omega power k as common factor. Then the rest of the expression will be minus omega, and here it will be minus one plus one equals to zero. This is minus one raised to the power k, omega power k. This expression is omega square. That's why we can write it as omega power k plus two plus one equals to zero. So if we want to make it zero, this k plus two should be multiple of three, so that it can be one. Simultaneously, k must be an odd number. So minus one plus one will make it zero. So k plus two must be multiple of three. I will say it is three m. So k is equals to three m minus two. I take odd values of m. M is one, then k is one. If m is three, then nine minus two is seven. If m is five, then it is fifteen minus two, thirteen. What this reflects? This reflects every one out of the six, any six consecutive integers from one to six. One is the only number. Then seven to twelve, there is only one number. In every six consecutive integer, there is only one which is satisfying the relation. We can say directly. The probability is one by six, or we can simultaneously think that it is in the form of six n plus one. That's why the probability is one by six, and the right answer, the right option is Bombay. Question number six. We will calculate f double dash x plus f x by differentiating f x. F x can be written as zero to x. Using the formula sine a plus b, it is sine t square minus t into cos x and plus sine x multiplied by cos t square minus t dt. Now let us split it as cos x zero to x sine t square minus t dt plus. Sin x zero to x cos t square minus t dt. Now f dash x is equal to cos x as it is. We will differentiate it using Lebesgue's rule. Sin x square minus x. The differentiation of x is one. Zero part is cancelled. Already zero. The differentiation of cos x is minus sin x zero to x sin t square minus t. dt now we will differentiate the second term sin x as it is the differentiation of this part is cos x square minus x the differentiation of sin x is cos x 0 to x cos t square minus t dt we can compile these two terms first and the third term using the formula sin a cos b Plus cos a sine b, it makes it sine x square minus x plus x. The rest of the terms will be as it is. Sine x multiplied by zero to x sine t square minus t dt. Then plus cos x multiplied by zero to x cos t square minus t dt. Differentiating it again, f double dash x is sine x square. Its derivative is cos x square, and the differentiation of x square is two x minus sine x. Its ka differentiation na aega sine x square minus x. Let me formulate it. Fir sine x ka differentiation ham karenge minus cos x zero to x 
sin t square minus t dt plus cos x as it is the differentiation of definite integral is cos x square minus x and differentiation of cos x will be minus sin x 0 to x cos t square minus t dt. We can compile these two terms as cos a cos b minus sin a sin b makes it cos a plus b x square minus x plus x these are cancelled 2x cos x square as it is. Now if you take minus as common we will find it is the same expression which is written in fx. This is cos x sin t square minus t and then sin x cos t square minus t. So I can write it as minus fx. So f double dash x plus fx equals to 2x plus 1 cos x square. Therefore the right option is Bombay B. Question number 7. We will differentiate the function to get the interval or the right interval from the following options in which your function is increasing. Have dash x is sin x multiplied by cos x multiplied by x minus 2 into x minus 3. We know that in different intervals this f dash x is going to be positive. So they are not asking the interval in which f dash x is positive or it is increasing. We have to identify only the right option in which f dash x is positive. If you look at the option a minus infinity to 2 in this interval this expression will be many times positive as well as negative because exclusively this x minus 2 into x minus 3 is positive for all real number from minus infinity to 2 and this is sin 2x. We can write as half sin 2x multiplied by x minus 2 x minus 3. So if this is positive it will be positive as well as negative for few of the x it is positive and for few of the x it is negative for less than 2. So we cannot say that in minus infinity to 2 f dash x is positive although it is positive. So this option is wrong. In 0 to 2 the same thing is going to happen. In 0 to 2 this angle is from 0 to 4. In 0 to 4 if you look at 0 to pi only 0 to pi then there is no problem. But in 0 to 4 this sin theta here theta I am saying is from 0 to 4. If your theta is from 0 to pi it will be positive it is also positive. But what about this pi to 4? In this part if 2x is pi to 4 then this is negative. So overall it will be negative. So this is again a wrong option. This way we have to verify each and every option. In D option it is 7 by 2 to 9 by 2. In 7 by 2 to 9 by 2 this expression x minus 2 into x minus 3 is positive because it is positive for all real x greater than 3. And if we look at sin 2x then 7 by 2 to 9 by 2 gives us 2x is from 7 to 9. If we mark 7 by 2 to 9 this is 2x scale. I am saying this is 2x and this is 2 pi. 2 pi is 6.28 and this is 3 pi. 3 pi is more than 9. So our 7 to 9, our 7 to 9 will lie in this interval 2 pi to 3 pi where sin 2x is positive, this factor is positive. So the product is positive therefore the D option is the correct option greater than 0 for 7 by 2 to 9 by 2. So the right option is D, Delhi. Question number 8. A is nil, moten, nil potent matrix of index 2 implies A square, A cube and all higher powers are giving us a null matrix. If we expand I2 plus A raised to the power 51 binomially, it is I2, I2 stands for I, two order matrix. I will write it as only I. So it is i raised to the power 51 plus 51c 1a plus 51c 2a square. I am not writing i raised to the power 50, i raised to the power 49 because those are i and higher powers. Up to the last term 51c 51, a raised to the power 51. All these matrices are null matrices. So it is i plus 51a 
plus null matrix or I can say I plus 51 A and they are asking us A multiplied by I2 plus A raised to the power 51. This is A multiplied by I plus 51 A or A plus 51 A square. A square is a null matrix. So, it is A plus null matrix or A. So, the right option is Delhi D.